Well, hello, man cavers, we are back. The Lister. Remember the little job we had to do last time? After we give it a run, I said, oh, we need to do that. We're going to do it. Roll the credits. And no, I'm not advertising Pepsi Max. <laughs> Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. Right, man cavers, if you remember, last time we ran this, I noticed an oil leak down here on the crankcase door. And I said, we're going to have to make a gasket. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a crankcase gasket. Oh yes, these bolts are tight. I didn't whether the bolts had just not been put on tight last time I done it, but they are on tight. They are on tight. There we go. Let's get them slackened off. And hopefully they'll all be finger tight once they're slackened, and they are. None of them are well, so far none of them are binding. And I like this. So I see you guys are impressed with the old girl and the way she's running. And so am I. Whoops, a daisy. Now, we're getting the door off, look. Right, we need to see what sort of gasket is on there, if any. Aha, uh -huh. I can see the problem straight away. We get our cloth. Give him a wipe. There's no gasket on here at all. Totally gone. I don't know whether you can see that actually. Let me get you out. There is no gasket down the right hand side of this at all. Look, it's broken. It finishes here. Ah, there's half our gasket. And there's the other bit. Whoops, a daisy. Ah! So all we've got... is that much gasket. One side of it. Totally missing. So, let's get set up. Get ourselves a gasket made up for that. And then I think we'll be all right. Right, I'll get round the bench with the gasket paper, and then we can get a gasket done. Right, here we go. We have a bag with gasket paper written on it. So I'm assuming this is where our sheets of various gasket paper is of different thicknesses. Now, I don't know if we want to use the big heavy bit. Oh, uh, that seems a bit thin. That's a bit thin. I think this one... Whoops, a daisy. Yeah, I think that one there was just blown onto the floor. It's probably the one we need. So let's put this other gasket paper away. Pick up the bit that's blown on the floor. There we go. And we'll get a gasket made. Now, how do we make a gasket? Well, I will show you. Two or three ways you can do this. This gasket paper is this stuff. Flexoid look. There we go. We just lay the gasket door on there. Like so. Check it square. Luckily it is. Excellent. Right. We turn it over. Make sure we are square. Down both these factory edges on here. And we are square. With a tapometer. 
Just tap around the outside. There we go. And that should be our gasket. There we go. Now we uh, could, if we were, shall we go around the, just make it a single gasket or leave it one big bit? Doesn't really matter. Tell you what. Let me see if we can get the holes in here first. I'll see if we can get the hole. Oh, I've got to take this corner off. Look. There we go, because we didn't have a corner off there. So now we have a gasket, all with the rounded corners. Now you can draw around them with a pen and cut them out with a knife. But tapping around them with a hammer works a treat. Ah, oh, that is excellent stuff. Now the way I do this now, before we start making it too thin, flip it over. Hang on a minute. Get one of your bolts, drop him in the hole, hit him. Drop him in the hole, hit him. Drop him in the hole, hit him, and drop him in the hole, hit him. And hopefully that's made nice indentation where our bolt holes need to be, which it does. I did have some hole punches somewhere, but I'm not too sure where the hole punches went. I used to have a nice set of hole punches. <clears throat> and we should find now we can soon get a hole through there. There we go. Just weaken the paper up and you'll soon punch a hole through it. And then you'll have that nice little round bit where your hole was. There we go, there's a hole made. Is this bit going to come out as well? Without splitting the whole gasket? I wonder if I can find my hole punches. Hang on a minute. Right, hole punches have been found. Here they are. Oh, I knew I had a set of hole punches. Look at them little bad boys. So I want to get the appropriately sized one out. But just checking your bowl in it. To make sure your bolt will actually fit. What is that in there? There's a bit of gasket paper got jammed in there from last time I used it. Look. Oh, Fen. Clear your stuff out, man. I think that hole punch is a bit small. We need to go one size up. Does it go in there? Oh, that bolt fit in there. So there we go. Let's go on our hole. That's better. Go in our hole. Go in our hole. Go on the hole. There we go. That one hasn't quite cut. <clears throat> Didn't quite hit him hard enough. There we go. Let's pop them. <clears throat> There we go. 
There's our gasket with our four holes. Now, if we're going to be technical, are we going to come around the inside or just use that as it is? To be honest with you, we could use that as it is. I could take some bulk out of the middle there, but I don't want to make it too thin, so we'll take a bit of bulk out. But is it really going to matter? I mean, it's only flat against a bit of metal. No, we will take a little bit of bulk out there, and that will... That will do us for our gasket. All right. So let's get some bulk out of this. We can use that as a straight edge. You can't really do your tapping thing with this. Because it don't work out that well. Marvellous. Get back down here. Cab man. Note how I'm leaving a little bit of meat on between the bolt holes. There we go. There we have it. There is our gasket. And we can use this little bit of paper we've took out the middle. We can put that back in the bag. And that can probably be used for another job. So let's clear up as we go. Put this bit of paper, what we haven't used, left back in the bag. And if you're wondering, yes, these papers come on A4 sheets. And you buy a selection of different thicknesses. And that's about a fiver. Good old eBay. So let's check our gasket, all the holes line up, look at that, perfect look. So let's take our bolt, get this back on the machine after we've done a little wipe around the hole. Now am I going to use RTV to seal this? Well Lister never used it. And I'm going to try and avoid it. So let's wipe away to make sure our gasket surface is totally clean. Which this is. Perfect. We can stick a bolt through. There we go, we've got one bolt through. We've got two bolts through. Now let's get this door rehung. Somehow. There we go. Come on. That's one in. That's two in, so we've got the two bottom bolts, two top bolts in. Come on, get on. Three bolts in. Four bolts in, there we go. Excellent stuff. So let me get these bolts buttoned back down and then we can see what we've got to do now and see if we've stopped our leak. Let's hope we have stopped our leak. 
I think we have. Can you actually see what I'm doing there, or am I standing right in the way as I normally do? But normally I stand right in the way, you guys, and I'm like, I'll watch it back later and think, you know, these folks didn't see a thing I was really doing. But you get the gist. Now we don't want to tighten these down very much. I mean, these don't need any sort of specific torque setting, I wouldn't have thought. So we'll just make a torque setting up. Which is a case of gently, gently in each corner till they feel tight enough. Click, click, I think that's torqued. Click, click, that's torqued. Click, click, that's torqued. Click, click, that's torqued. Right, old gasket in the bin. Do you know, that really leaves only one thing. I think we need to run this thing, don't we, and see if we've got a leak. Oh, shall we do that? Come on, just for shits and giggles, let's have a go. Let's have a go. I know you want to see it. The lovely little cleaned up engine. There we go. Now then, is the crank handle in the back door? It is indeed. I can get it out of my little box and everything. Look. Excellent. So we'll put our handle on. We need to manually pump that fuel up again. If I zoom in, you'll see what I'm doing. Can you see the little pump? Yes. I'm pushing down on the pump, and that will slowly fill the carb. It's not coming yet. There it comes, the note. I can hear the pump changing note. There we go, she's starting to fill now. Oh yes, she's starting to fill that carb up. Come on, girl. Come on. Right, that's now got that there. Excellent. I think now we can get her adjusted up, get her running. So let's just put this on it. So that's off. run and there's the start position we'll go on that start position remember last time we did about three quarter choke so we're going to try that again this time and let's see if we do anything come on girl look at that she's away There we go. She's off choke. Straight away she's off choke look. Don't she run splendid? Oh yes. Right. X. 
gesund. Da. That is most excellent. Yep, perfect. And let's see if we got any leaks. So far, none whatsoever, look. She is bone dry. Which is exactly what we like to see. There we go. Lister B. Rocker cover gas for all them. All the little moving components that health and safety would just not allow these days. Can you imagine a building an engine with exposed rockers and flywheels like this? They wouldn't want no one to put a hand on them and touch them in case you took your hands off, would they? No. The youth of today has no common sense. In fact, neither do some of the adults. But there we go. There we have it. There is the list of me. All working with her new rocker gasket. Anyhow, a lovely quick video for you. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, 23rd and 24th, I think this is. Game and Country Fair, Houston Park. That's the East Anglia Game and Country Fair. In about two or three weeks, 23rd, 24th, or 24th, 25th of April, Google Machine, this will be here, Maruston PB will be here, Man Cave will be there. Come and say hi, be great to see you, we will be on the engine stand. Well, that's it. I think we can knock her down a couple of clicks. We've knocked her down three clicks and she's not running so rich. Do you know that thing absolutely runs a treat, doesn't it? That is so good. Right, I'm going. I shall catch you guys next time. Bye bye for now. Ha <laughs> ha!